So when I first started fighting in Thailand, um, it was pretty easy to get matched up on the shows with no weigh-ins such as Asia Teak. Um, my trainer would just put my name in and then I would get a confirmation within a few days that I have an opponent. And with uh, with these shows with no weigh-ins, you know, the person could be your size, but most often they're not. Um, if the promoter has seen you fight before, sometimes what they'll do is they'll, um, if they think that you're better than whoever they have in mind, uh, that person to offset your experience or skill level will be heavier. Um, to kind of even out the odds, I guess, in a way, even though for most of these shows, uh, it's not, there's no gambling or anything involved, it's just a three round fight. Um, uh, however, as I started fighting more and more, I had some appearances on TV getting mashed up, uh, started, became, started becoming harder and harder. Um, just because the people on the low level shows, uh, the promoters wouldn't be able to find anyone who would be willing to fight me. Um, and then there were just not enough high level shows. Uh, so some examples of high level shows would be from notable sanctioning bodies such as WPMF, which has male and female fights. And also uh, more recently, uh, Channel 8, just, with, just within the last uh, six months, started putting females on regularly for their shows. So then, uh, before the Channel Eight situation, it was just uh, it was just really difficult to find matches. Um, we kind of just took whatever we can get. Um, sometimes we, my trainer would even uh, drive all the way out to Isan and and uh, use a different name just so I can get some fight experience in. Um, in terms of quality of matchups, I think for the most part, I my matchups have been pretty fair. Um, Obviously, there are always going to be politics with everything. Um, I've fought some girls where their promo their manager was involved in the sanctioning body or the promotion in some way. Sometimes I fought the uh, my opponent was the promoter's fighter. So sometimes uh, with those shows, it's like even though the fight came close, but I won, they wouldn't give me the decision, or um, it would just be some borderline sketchy stuff happening at weigh-ins and things like that. Um, but I would say for the most part, the my matchups have been pretty fair. So uh, over here, I don't just train and fight. I do work on a side, so I have money to pay the bills and buy food and uh go out to eat and things like that um i teach english on weekends and also on the side i do social media management and online marketing strategy uh i used to write for certain muay thai news publications in the past and have gotten paid for that um how much it costs to be out here it kind of depends on how you want to live your lifestyle uh, for me personally, I'm a very simple person. I don't need a fancy condo or a big space. I just need enough space for me, um, my stuff, and a bed, <laughs> uh, and obviously a shower. Um, so the apartment I have, it's a very small Thai-style apartment. It's only a little bit over 30 square meters or something like that. It's really small, but it's perfect for me because I'm just one person living here. Um, also in terms of food it also depends how do you like to eat if you like Thai food or you don't mind eating Thai food street food is really really cheap you can get uh, a plate of anything for like a dollar here but if you don't like Thai food or you are picky about your food then you will end up paying more for Western dishes or to eat out at a proper restaurant um, in terms of fight wages when i first started fighting here i would get paid anywhere from 1000 to 2000 and then every now and then i would get put on a tv show where they would pay me 5000 um when i fought for channel 8 and when i fought for the bigger sanctioning bodies that had sponsors i got paid uh, over 10000 baht uh this is a big disparity between what the male fighters get paid because the male fighters uh for the most part the minimum they get paid, they get paid is 10,000 baht for example a low level fighter at channel 7 for me i've been here fighting for 
four years and it wasn't until the two and a half year mark that I started getting paid that much whereas th that's their starting point so a lot of fight a lot of male fighters when they uh, get put on TV or when they get put on uh, the shows with um, more sponsors they're getting paid at least two or three times more than I am